Love you, <laughs> Welcome to our 15th annual Munch Mingle and Moo. We are so happy that you were able to join our live Zoom today. We just have a couple of announcements before we get started. This Zoom is being recorded and will be posted for all families in the program to view afterward so they can also participate. If you are not comfortable with you or your child's face being viewed in Zoom, please turn off your camera now. We are also asking that you change the name that is being shown to your child's first initial and last name so we can take attendance. You can do this by clicking on the three dots on the corner of your picture and select your name. Well, hello and welcome. My name is Judy Siebert, and I've been the consultant dietitian now for 25 years. And I'm joined with. Um, hi, my name is Megan, and I'm a nutrition specialist here at Head Start. So today we're going to do some fun things for summer and uh, some fun recipes. And I think the kids are really going to enjoy this because it centers around fruit. Didn't you say you just love fruit? Fruit is my favorite. <laughs> and I think everybody else is. So I'm going to turn it over to you. And you want to explain your first one? Sure. So. We have applesauce dots. It's a really great frozen treat um, to have during the summer. And it's also nice because it can be, uh, the recipe can be customizable. If you don't like applesauce, you could do yogurt or even like a pudding. And um, you can put, you can put fruit in it or nuts or some granola and really um, make it more flavorful. Um, but we just wanted to keep it simple for the one that we do on here. So, the thing you'll need is like a plate or a pan or something that can go into the freezer. And then you can take your parchment paper or wax paper. And um, if you want to, you can cut it to fit or just fold it up so you can place it right on top of the plate. And then we'll take our applesauce and open it up here. And with a spoon, we're just going to dollop it right onto the plate. And um, I would say about the size of a quarter. Just put them all over the plate like this. You could probably use like flavored applesauce or add cinnamon to it. Mm -hmm. Yes. They make all those really good flavored applesauces. So you just put it all over the plate like this, and then you would put it into the freezer. For I'd say about three or four hours or until it's completely frozen. And then what comes out are these little frozen applesauce dots. And they're super good. Want to try one? Certainly. <laughs> no, I love applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here it is with my mask at all. Oh, my. Could have been a blooper. <laughs> That is surprisingly good and refreshing. Like on a hot summer afternoon, that would be great. Oh, that's lovely. Well, thank you so much for sharing your recipe with us. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do should be a real crowd pleaser at, at your house and my house. Our theme is um, international and if anything we realized were a global uh, community. Uh, and so we want to embrace different cultures, and you could simply do that by a book, or you could do it by exploring some different foods. And the foods we're going to do today are from an Asian culture, uh, particularly Thailand, where they do what's called spring rolls, and it's done with rice paper. I don't know if you've ever worked with rice paper. I got this at Walmart. And it is this is brown rice paper, so it's even more nutritious. Kind of hard. I don't know if you can see this or hear it. Uh, kind of hard, but it's like saran wrap. It feels like saran wrap. But what you do is we're going to dunk it into warm water, and the kids can do this. And then when you take it out, it's really thin and, and easy to fold. And then we're going to make our spring roll. So the fruit I use today, uh, and you use whatever fruit your children are into, whatever in season, we can have them pick it out. 
So this time I got kiwis, which I never had until I was in college. You probably had kiwis as a kid, right? That was crazy. I love kiwis. They're, they're so good, but they didn't come to our country until like the 1970s, believe it or not. So, um, and it's all what you're exposed to. And I remember trying a kiwi thinking, boy, that's really strange. And I love it. Let me ask you about this. How about mangoes? Do you eat mangoes? Yes. You love I them do too? I love mangoes. I get mango smoothie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that's true. So, mangoes, and, and the kids like it. Actually, whatever you get used to, we widely accept. Again, I didn't have mangoes until much later. And at first, I thought, oh, this tastes funny. Love it now. So, so if you take a bite of something and you're not wild about it, try it again because, on average, we need and some things we really like at first, and some things take a lot of exposure, like eight to 10 times. So if your child doesn't like a certain thing, try it again later. Try it again later and try it again later. Now I cut up some strawberries, sort of lengthwise. You'll see them because I'm going to put that as a base so they look pretty. Um, do you know what's unique about a strawberry? No, what? It's the only fruit where the seeds are on the outside. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, if you look at it, you can see that. Um, and then, well, actually, I may have lied. It looks like the seeds are on the outside of your raspberry, too. I don't think so. Uh, do you like raspberries? Berries have so much nutrition, and kids tend to like it. So I would include a lot of berries in the diet. Uh, also, I grow mint at home. Sell that if you can. It's kind of hard with the mask on. So all herbs provide a ton of nutrition. Bite for bite, ounce for ounce, basil, parsley, oregano, mint, they provide a ton of nutrients. So if you could sneak a little bit of that into the diet, uh, I think the children will enjoy that. All right. I also am going to cut out a green apple. Now, with my clients, I do what's called a, a mindful eating exercise. And I'll explain it to you. Did you ever go through a drive through and you ate in the car and you're like full, oh, but not really, and didn't enjoy the food? Did you ever eat like that in your yes. it, And we need to slow the pace of eating down. So I'm just going to talk to you through a mindful eating exercise with this app. When you get an apple, and of course you can't do this all the time, but I'd like you to practice it. So when you get an apple, I want you to notice the color, notice it has a stem, notice the smell, does it smell sweet? I want you to slowly take a bite and listen to the crunch, feel the texture, chew it a little bit, notice the sweetness on your tongue, and then swallow it. That takes a long time. You know, normally we just bite by but if you slow yourself down and eat mindfully, you enjoy your food more, and you get the signal that you're full. Uh, a lot of times we eat so quick, we say, oh, that food's delicious, we want some more, but we're actually full, and then you eat past the point of being comfortably full. So whenever you can, with your kids, practice mindful eating. Notice the strawberry, notice the different colors, the stem, uh, the flavor, the crunch, all that. So with this apple, I'm going to, um, it's called Julian. I'm going to make strips to put in our, our fruit roll-up. Now, you can ask the kids what type of apples they prefer. There's, there's over 900 varieties of apples. Uh, and they're, they all have something a little bit different. Like I know my daughter likes uh, a gala apple. She loves gala apples. The other daughter loves another honey crisp. Mm -hmm. So everybody tends to have their favorite. If you want to keep this apple out, it would turn brown. Um, and that's uh, why we would use lemon juice. Lemon juice acts as an antioxidant and it, it keeps the wood from turning brown or oxidizing. But since we're going to use it right away, we're not going to worry about that. So what I will do is get this rice paper, sort of like cardboard, and submerge it in warm water. Now that takes a few minutes, well, maybe a minute, maybe a minute. Um, and I just, while I have a minute, I just want to explain how to get children to eat foods with a dip. 
That's how I got my kids to eat broccoli and either uh, cheese dip or something. Mm -hmm. We like dips. So I created um, a fruit dip, which I think that children will enjoy. And what the fruit dip is oikos, I think is how you pronounce it, three together. So this is triple zero. It has 15 grams of protein, zero added sugar, zero artificial sweetener, and zero fat. This is really good to create. Um, when you make Greek yogurt, it's a four to one conversion. You get four quarts of milk and you get one quart of Greek yogurt. So you say smash down all the protein, calcium, and it's really, really good for you. All right. So now that I have, I'm going to try to show you how it becomes really delicate when you pull this out. If it's really paper thin and you're able to. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to let's put a couple strawberries in. Hopefully, you can see it because this is the brown rice wrapper. It means it's higher in fiber, but it's a little bit darker in color. So I put the strawberries down. I'll put a couple apple slices down. Kiwi, which you love, and then I will put a couple. Raspberries on the other way, and then mango. Now, the kids can do this, they can use whatever fruit they care to, they can assemble it themselves. And if the kids assemble it themselves and put the fruit in themselves, they're more likely to try it. So, I'm going to fold this like I would a burrito. You know how you fold the corners in, and then you try to tightly, which I didn't do a good job, try to tightly. Roll this up. There we go. So I don't know if, if you can see it. It's really, really colorful. And I'm going to put one there. And then I know you're, you're, you're going to want to try one. So I'm going to get another one going. And then I have a little bit of this dip. Now, the dip is simply the, the strawberries. The yogurt, the high protein, low fat yogurt. I throw in fresh mint and then I do a lemon juice. So we're going to use this as a dipping sauce and see what you think. I particularly love it. And I'm going to let this soak. And while this is soaking, I'm going to, you know, how many fruits and vegetables? A child should eat a day. You know what you're not going to say, right? <laughs> it is five. You know how many adults need a day? Not even pregnant adults. <laughs> um, is it still five? It's five. That's nine. Nine. It's like that's all you would do all day is eat fruits and vegetables. <laughs> so we want kids to really develop a taste for them because you need even more as you get older. So if you can see, I kind of, this kind of folded in on itself, but I got it back. And then you spread it out. And then I'm going to make you one. Do you like all the fruits or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's good for me. All right. So we'll <laughs> put a couple apples, a couple strawberries, a couple mango. And then if you sow one, you can add to it. It's just uh, the very sort of stronger flavor. Raspberries. And then again, fold it like a burrito. One this way. As tightly as, as tightly as you can. Yeah, it must be hard. It's flimsy. Yes, it's, it's harder than it appears. These just for FYI, these are gluten free. If anybody's on a gluten free diet, that there. And it's colorful and, and what it, it holds it together. And kids like to eat with their fingers, so this is kind of fun, also. So I have both these, and you ready to try it with our face mask on? Yes, so, all right, that one's rolled better, so we can let you try that one. And of 
Very sweet. Mm -hmm. um, actually, that brings me to the point of a sweet tooth. Uh, humans have really like sugar. But we're born now, right? That's uh, their sugar and breast milk. So, so we like sugar. But you know what's happened along the way? We, because of our liking for sugar, we shift natural sugar to sugar added into foods. And that is the whole problem. All these foods here have natural sugar. But guess what else they have? They have vitamins and minerals and antioxidants and fiber. And, and they provide so much more. So if you have a sweet tooth, and we all do, let's try to have a dessert like this, where you get a big benefit from the natural sugar. Um, milks have lactose, it's a natural sugar. Fruits have fructose, that's a natural sugar. Um, I, I don't have a problem that. I wouldn't restrict that at all. What I would restrict is um, high fructose corn syrup. That's a man-made sugar that causes inflammation in the body. So, so you don't want to diet high in that. Um, the USDA said we can have 50 grams of added sugar a day. That is extremely high in my opinion. Don't you think? Yes, that is very high. Yes. Yeah. But so we think that way, but if you're drinking 12 ounces of Coke or Mountain Dew or some beverage, you're pretty darn close to that added sugar, about 45 grams of added sugar in that one 12 ounce drink. So I'm going to add, I'm going to challenge everybody over the summer to try to get in natural sugar. Now, you could freeze, like, I love that idea. You freeze foods. That's a natural sugar habit. I love to freeze blueberries and just snap them on. Oh, that's so true. I mean, that would be, the, or bananas, you could do that. So that could be your go-to treat in the summer. What we tend to do is get freezer pots or, or, or stuff like that with a lot of added sugar. And it's okay as an occasional treat, but kids tend to use it for hydration. Or what I mean by that, you're playing outside, you're thirsty, and you go to grab a freezer pop. Not a good idea because the body needs water, not sugar. Um, so I would really, this summer, your challenge is to upsell water. <laughs> you know, um, you know when, when you go to a fast food, they said, oh, would you like fries with that? Or would you like the biggie side that? They're upselling all these bad foods. We need to use our marketing and upsell water. Would you like uh, strawberry infused water or do you want mint in your water? You know, something to, to really entice people or have it in nice little containers where they can grab it, um, you know, make it interesting, put it in a special cup with a straw, like whatever it is. We want children to recognize that their thirst is quenched with water. Their thirst is not quenched with a sugary beverage. It's not quenched with a, a, a like a monster or some type of energy drink or roll. They don't need electrolytes unless they were sick, I get that, or unless they did high intensity exercise for an hour straight. Um, then you can go on to like a Propel or a Gatorade. But as a general rule, all of us just need much more water. So really try to get, encourage your kids to drink water and you're creative, whatever works with your kids would be great. Um, and then drink water and that brings me to the five to one Okay, so let me just explain this. Um, if you wanna raise your kids to, to, so they meet their maximum potential, who doesn't, right? Here's a simple rule, five, two, one, oh. Five, two, one, oh. Five fruits and vegetables a day. And they don't have to be whole fruits and vegetables. It could be the serving size and maybe a quarter cup, depending on their age. Um, but if the more vegetables, the more fruit, the better for the child's development. So again, I'm selling fruits and vegetables. Have a plan of meals right on a grocery list, have it available. Um, I'll tell you a trick I did with my kids. I would have fruit out like I'm supposed to, and they would walk by it. 
I cut up that fruit, had a dip, they would, they would enjoy it. So, so maybe again, upsell that. So five fruits and vegetables a day. Two, and, and this was extremely, if not impossible to do during the pandemic, two hours of screen time or less. So um, this summer, the days are long, they're warm. We really need to turn off the TV, turn off the games, turn off Zoom, turn off whatever, your phone, and get outside and move. Because I'm afraid what is happening is our brains get hardwired to screen. And then the, the people designing this know how to light up our brains. Like, I wanna check this with my phone, I wanna do this. We had a conversation mm -hmm. about that. We are just, you know, I wake up and look at the phone and start scrolling. Yeah, nothing really happened overnight. I, I could get tend to the dog or coffee or one of my flowers, but we as adults tend to get addicted to screen time. And I'm afraid through this pandemic and through electronics, the kids are also. So I really want you this summer to, to try the 5210, five fruits and vegetables, two hours or less of screen time. Now the one should be simple this summer. It is one hour of activity, physical activity. You know, maybe adults need a half hour every day of exercise. We have scheduled exercise, kids don't need that. They need activity, they need to get out, Play. They need to run off the energy uh, and, and really enjoy the outdoors. And if it's rainy day, activity indoors. Just, just we need movement. Lots, lots more movements. Um, so five fruits and vegetables, two hours of screen time, one hour of physical activity, and zero. Okay. Anybody out there figured out that zero sugary drinks? Uh, as <coughs> excuse me, as I mentioned at the beginning. You know, it provides empty cal calories. It's added sugar. There's no buffer. It hits our system and we get a, a boost to sugar. Many products have a boost to caffeine. And, and it's really, our liver has to kind of process it. And we're finding out that probably the worst thing are the sugary drinks. And, and there's a little bit of a, an addictive nature to it sometimes. So if you wanted a naturally, you know, if you wanted to do your own lemonade, that would be great. You could do some iced tea every now and then. But as a general rule, we need to drink much, much more water and less sugary drinks. I would reserve them for a special occasion, a birthday party, or if you had a chance to go out and sit down for a nice meal, that would be great. But sugary drinks, here's the thing. Our tastes get blunted. So we have a, a sugary tea, we want to drink even more sugar, more sugar. But if we cut the recipe, like a third, take a third sugar out, we can use that, another third. So we can have a less sweet treat every now and then. You don't have to use the entire amount of sugar in a recipe. So I would love for us to take the 5 2 one challenge. And, and Here's my other reason for it. Um, this has been a tough year uh, for mental health. This has been a tough year for physical health with the coronavirus and the pandemic and us being uh, forced to stay indoors or not go to school. Uh, and because of that, diets tended not to be as healthy. There were more sugary drinks, there were lots more screen time, there was lots, lots less physical activity and all of those can lead to um, poor health uh, behaviors and patterns that could influence your children as they age. So what I would hope we can do as a Head Start, what I hope we could do partnering with you as a family is to reverse this trend. Now kids are resilient, and what I mean, they get used to high sugar things, they can get used to low sugar things. They get used to screen times, they get used to less. So I really want you to uh, take this opportunity to improve their health, both short-term and long-term, by simply having family meals, stocking the house with fruits and vegetables, uh, upselling the water, having them play outside or, or structure family time around hikes, 
or biking or, or summer games outside. So we all want the best for our children. And like I said, it's been a tough year, but we can overcome that with just a simple, simple lifestyle change. So I hope you can take some of this and incorporate it into your family uh, lifestyle. Uh, I want you to, I, I want to thank you so much for participating this year. Whether you join this live or you're watching this as a recording, um, you'll, you soon will be receiving an email with the survey. Please take a moment to complete the survey because we need your feedbacks and comments. Uh, it's important to us. I really want you to have a wonderful rest of the day. Um, make a list of, of some fun things to do. Uh, pack a fun fruit filled vegetable world lunch and really uh, enjoy the summer. Thank you so much.